regardless of what happens with the weather, we're going to be here at Disney Springs tonight seeing what's new. This is our monthly update video that I bring to the channel showing you guys what's going on and anything I see new at Disney Springs. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Disney Springs June 2021 update now. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, we've been having some typical summer Florida weather lately. The afternoons leading towards the evening hours have been a little rainy. That's not going to stop me from heading out to Disney Springs. Is it just me or are we on the wrong side of the elevator? Normally we're on that side. I don't think we normally come down on this left hand side. <laughs> Crowd levels are kind of normal for the summer. It's a little busy. AMC Theater has got completely decked out with things promoting Disney's Cruella. Now not only is this in theaters, but it's also on Disney Plus for an additional fee. I looked it up, I think it was close to like 40 bucks or something to rent it. Oh yeah, check this out. Got a whole display here. Some sketches. Emma Stone here. And a costume piece. Maybe that's from the film. I'm not 100% sure. Nice. That's kind of cool. We have a little red carpet display here. Right in front of the AMC. Aha, uh -huh, right here. One of the 47 costumes designed by Jenny Beaven for Academy Award winning actress Emma Stone in the new live action film Cruella. That's pretty cool. Oh. It's the one she's wearing in the photograph right there. Wow, Emma Stone is not as tall as I uh, thought she'd be. Stepped inside Disney style here. They have a whole section dedicated to this month for Pride Month. Got some Mickey Mouse Club shirts. Got some new summertime shirts here. Look at this. Mickey and Minnie on a button down. I actually like that button down a lot. They have shorts here. Shorts that'll match that. T-shirt. Some beach vibes on this shirt. I agree, Mickey. Enjoy the good times. This tie-dye shirt. Now this is very interesting. It's like a, a members only jacket style, <laughs> but it's like weatherproof, like a rain jacket and it's see-through. And all new merchandise for Cruella. Dog right here, I bet these dogs have to do in the film. I don't know anything, no spoiler. A shirt here, some bags. Ooh, look at the hat. It's kind of like the hat that I have. Mine doesn't have a chain or the spikes, but it is in that style. We've got a button down here and more Cruella themed merchandise over here. Look at that, Cruella on the, the collar there. Anything that, you know, tickles your fancy for, for, for Cruella. Look at these leggings. It's like the transportation leggings. Every kind of vehicle you can think about from the parks. That's awesome. Yeah, Disney Style had some, some newer items. We're gonna continue the tour. Now, as you can see, they've completely removed the images for the restaurant they were building here. They've put up the promotions for Sharing your pride for the month of June, which is Pride Month. Pretty awesome. But they are no longer going with the restaurant that was going here. The Beatrix is no longer a thing. They, they pulled that. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what's going to happen over in this spot that they started clearing land for. Very interesting. I was bringing you guys up to date, you know, every month on this. And then it just kind of stopped. Very interesting. Check this out. We've got a little background for a photo op you can do on the other side of the AMC theater. And the big red carpet here leading you into AMC with Cruella banners on both sides. All the different characters in the film. That's amazing. Very cool. And the red carpet leads you right into the theater. So they still are requiring masks in all attractions and indoor locations but june 15th that'll be changing which is when you guys are watching this video so you know about something in the future the day of <laughs> that rain is going to be insane oh my gosh i saw some lightning 
Gotta keep going. And I spoke too soon. Starting to, starting to rain. Luckily I have my umbrella. You can see the clouds over there in the distance going over the Walt Disney World Resort. Obviously not doing the hot air balloon tours right now. With the weather, they do not do that with wind or anything. Pretty much it has to be a calm, sunny day. I'm always curious if the weather will change the, the line situation here at Gideon's with their virtual queue. And it doesn't seem like that makes any difference. People are still lining up. Long, long line down there to get their, their Gideon's fix. This gelati place always has the craziest new things. This cannoli shake is what they've got going on right now. Pistachios in it too, wow. On the other side, let's see. Cake batter cannoli. Look at that, cake batter infused cannoli. Oh my goodness. Also not gonna be doing the Amphicar tours right now with the rain and, and the elements. Obviously you don't wanna be on water in a car <laughs> in this kind of kind of weather oh man it's about to get really nasty I can already feel some of the some of the rain are you serious right now look at this thank goodness I'm underneath here but the wind is still blowing some water on the lens Woo! Oh man, that's insane. I apologize if there's any smudges on the lens right now, but oh my gosh! It's about to be really loud. I have a feeling that thunder's gonna be really loud. Yep. That was insane. Just showing you guys what the rain looks like currently. Everyone's trying to get into the, the World of Disney store, but they're only allowing you to go in on the opposite side. You still have to walk all the way down and around. No guarantee on getting in because of capacity. And the exit only right here, they're completely blocking that off from letting people go inside. Starbucks is slammed. This is nuts. It is interesting to see how empty this place is when it starts to rain. Tinkerbell up here, holding on strong. And this guy, the little sea dragon over here. He doesn't mind the rain, look at his face. He's, he's just as shocked as I am. This came out of nowhere and typical Florida summer fashion. If you're gonna do anything in the parks in the summer, do it early in the day. This time of the day, you should be back at your hotel because this is what happens almost every day in the summer. I'm not kidding. Almost every single day, this is what happens. It won't last long, but you're gonna be soggy afterwards. to make a run for it. I think I'm gonna head over into the World of Disney store. It's starting to lighten up just a tad as far as rain. Just that lightning is no joke. Made it to the World of Disney store where it's a little cold, but that's okay. I made it inside. Check these Marie hair clips out. You can have your own Marie ears. <laughs> It says, you say cat lady like it's a bad thing, and it has Marie down there. That's awesome. Some Arista cats. Love. Now, I showed this last time, but this one is out of the box. This is the interactive Groot here. It recognizes and responds to 20 spoken phrases with sounds, music, and movement. That's cool. Lots of new Marvel items here as well. Pretty much everything you see here for Black Widow 
is brand new. Got a jacket here, a bag, the Black Widow stingers right here. Oh yeah, this is all new, that jacket, the shirt. Check out this jean jacket with Marvel all over it. That's pretty cool. Bag here. Oh, Amaretto's pastry has this Loki lemon. I don't know how to say that word. I'm gonna say Schiffen, Schiffen cake. Dolce mousse, green apple. Man, why why can't they just say it's it's a cupcake or a cake? You guys can read that for yourself. I just need to study up on how to pronounce pastries. But look, it's themed to, to Loki. That's awesome. They've added some more 101 Dalmatian items over here. Look at the little ears they have. Some leggings down here. I love it. Mickey is, is kind of hanging out with the Disney babies over here, they call them. They're actually showing some old classic cartoons here on the screen. Check that out. That's really cool. Old classic Mickey Mouse cartoons. Steamboat Willie there, playing crazy. That's cool, I'm glad they're utilizing that. Okay, I did not see the Star Wars polo last time. That's really cool looking. But I did show all of this last time, but I think this is new, I didn't see this last time. This Mandalorian figure, that is awesome. What does he do if you push the button? Oh, he talks. Okay, that makes him talk. This, I think lights that up. And then this side, oh, you can hear the gun. Yeah, that's awesome. So light up flamethrower. The blaster has lights and sounds and real character phrases. That's what those three buttons do there on the Mandalorian figure. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It was saying Mickey Mouse here. Let's see what this says. I heart Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> So they're starting to sell corksicle here. That's a, that's a local thing here for Orlando. That's really cool when they have it with the Walt Disney World logo and it's in the style of Mickey. Still have 2021 merchandise over in this section. Kind of waiting for them to put out the summer stuff here, especially with 4th of July coming up next month. And they do have a whole Father's Day area over here. Celebrate that, whoa. Kind of into that old school looking Mickey Mouse watch right there. That's really cool. Got Monopoly down here, some ties, some button downs, everything for dad. All right, okay, here we go. Got some, some stuff for the, the 4th of July festivities that are coming up, some red, white, and blue themed merchandise here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can see Mickey walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA on 4th of July, on Independence Day. That's amazing. It's like a little dapper Mickey with his little hat and vest and bow tie. Check out this mug, 101 Dalmatians mug. It's the TV. Comment below if you know what they were advertising on the commercial. Go ahead, comment. Did I show this last time? This is really cool. Well, I think I showed you guys, for the most part, everything that was new here inside the, the World of Disney Store. They're always changing things in here. Stepping back out into the elements, you can see it ex <laughs> it's extremely busy now compared to what it was when the, the big storm was happening. See, it doesn't take long, but when, it's, when it does storm, let me tell you, it really, really storms. Sun is starting to come out on the other side there. It is still still spitting, still drizzling. So I do have my umbrella with me. Pretty crazy. One second it's it's completely safe. The next second you're you're watching lightning happen right in front of your eyes. That was a little scary. Fun tidbit for you guys. I know Starbucks pretty much has the same thing at all Starbucks. But the one here at Disney Springs, they usually have things that you can only get here. Like they'll make specific recipes for this location. Always stop in and, and see what they have going on. Like right now they have a happy Bananaversary special drink, a banana split, equality, and a mad tea party. They have some things for spring over there, spring fling and a caramel delight. So always stop over here next to the world of Disney because they always have something special going on here if you want to try and change up your your order for Starbucks. Now, I'm, I'm very much the kind of guy that sticks to my 
my regular. I'm definitely a creature of habit, but just kind of throwing that out there if you want to change things up on your trip. Check this out, the Daily Poutine has the Arendelle Aqua Punch. They've had that for a while, but I just noticed this. Canadian Apple Slushy. Yeah. Crown Royal Apple Whiskey, Lemonade, Caramel, and Apple. Oh my gosh. If that tastes like the, the caramel apple suckers that you get like during the Halloween season, that's gonna be a problem. Cause that, that's, that sounds delicious. And even though it did rain, I'm glad I got to take this trip out here to Disney Springs and kind of show you guys what's going on and, and what's new. And like always, regardless of what the weather is, I always have a good time at any theme park, especially the Walt Disney World Resort. But this was a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this every month, bringing you guys what's new, what's going on at Disney Springs. Lots of new stuff for Cruella, <laughs> that's for sure. But I think our adventure for today has come to an end. Which means whew, it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. The next time you're here at Disney Springs, tell them World of Micah sent you. And let me know if you guys have seen Cruella. I'm debating on going to the theater to see it or just waiting for it to come out on Disney Plus without having to pay for the premiere access. It might be cheaper just to go see it in the theaters. But let me know if you guys have seen that. I'd like to see it. Very interested. I do like 101 Dalmatians. And I think Cruella is a fantastic villain. But I will see you guys on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. Goodbye.